Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG! Today, we're gonna go through the right door here. We're all healed up and ready to go. Now, you don't want to run into those flomps there, because then you get pushed back. And I want to be able to jump around these bullet bills here. Nuts. Yeah, when those swamps, well, thwomp the ground, they stun you, and you can't jump while you're stunned. So, but anyway, we got a new enemy on the right there. Big Bertha, a mortar cannon, I guess. And they are weak to thunder, just like all their other cousins throughout the game. So let's use a thunderbolt on them. That ought to take care of them pretty nicely. Wow, that guy really doesn't like thunder. But we can take care of them all the same with our new star gun. Okay, let's get to the end here so I don't get hit by more bullet bills. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, first things first, let's bring in Peach into the party. And this is the party that I will be using for the next part. Let's see, I want to, well, first, let's give the Troopa Pin, or give the Experience Booster to Mallow there. And let's, oh, no, no, not that. Let's give the Troopa Pin to Mario. The reason is because I want to have a party with a speed of at least, okay, 29. I was going to say 30, but yeah, close enough. But yeah, I want to have some pretty good speed coming up here. And also, uh, Troopa Pin, Quartz Charm to get attack up at the start of the battle there. Ultimate weapons, ultimate armor there. And safety ring, just in case, because there's some nasty status elements coming up here too. So, let's see what lies ahead. Is this the same room that we were in before? I don't think so. I think it just looks like all the other rooms. Why do all the bosses have to sit on top of the chandeliers? Seems like a not-so-safe place to have a boss fight. I don't know. Call me crazy. But I can take him. Rest in pieces! For boss time! against Boomer Esiason. No, no, just Boomer. But anyway, yeah, there's nothing really too special about him. Uh, he just has a lot of HP, no elemental weaknesses or anything like that. You would think he'd be weak to thunder, but no, no, he's not. So, put that frying pan to use. Not bad, Peach, not bad. Ow! Yeah, I didn't time my defense on that one, right? Oh well. But yeah, for some reason, jump seems to work pretty well against him, even though I don't think he's weak to it. The way you time your attack with the uh, star gun there is wait for him to retract his arms, and that's when you uh, time it there. And the frying pan, wait until Peach has the frying pan above her head, and that's when you time that attack. All right, there we go, easy enough. Uh, one thing that he can do that didn't happen was that, I don't know if it's a counter attack or what, sometimes he counters with it, sometimes he doesn't. But he has uh, another attack that does uh, instant death. So uh, you wanna watch out for that. You can time your defense for it though. Or you could equip Quartz Charm, uh, Jinx Belt, or the Safety Ring. Those will also protect against instant death as well but I don't think that's really necessary he doesn't seem to use it too often in my experience also sometimes he can turn blue and I don't know what that does but he can turn blue I don't know I, I would guess it's pissy boss mode but I usually kill him before that happens and even if he I don't then I'm able to uh, kill him shortly thereafter so but anyway, he's ready to go, huh? Is that ready to die in Woolsey? Hey, hey, all right. What do you mean, the appointed place? Who appointed this? I didn't make an appointment. Do we have to do a mini game to this music? Game? No? I, I guess we're just dancing for no apparent reason? Dance to the music, viewers. But anyway... Are 
Are we almost there? Your floor, sir. Watch your steps, sir. Oh. No! No seat belts! Just like every starship on Star Trek ever. Well, not everyone, but most of them. Everyone worth mentioning. For boss time! Against Smithy himself! I mean, uh, Exor. Uh, oh. Hmm. I thought this guy was Smithy all along. Huh. I guess I was wrong. Okay, well anyway, there's four parts to Exor here, the sword that fell in the castle at the beginning of the game. So, we got Exor himself, but if you try to attack him, he takes down damage there. You got the two eyes there that protect him. You gotta kill at least one of them in order to be able to damage Exor himself. And then we got the mouth of Neo Squid. I don't know why it's called Neo Squid, but there it is. And, yeah, he has some pretty nasty status ailments that can hit your entire party there. So, if you don't have status protection all around, then you probably want to take that guy out first. So, let's see what I can do. Okay, one more attack ought to do. Yes! Okay, there we go. Now, the thing is, with the eyes and the mouth, he can, he will uh, revive them after a while there. What did he just do to him? I think he just put him to sleep. Oh, no, he just silenced him. Okay, yeah, I'm not worried about that at all. Now, the eyes are weak to jump. So, let's put that to use there. Nice. Well, I wasn't even going to be using uh, boost anyway, or Geno boost anyway. So, now, let's go after Exor himself. It's going to take him a few turns to actually get to... Uh, to revive the other guys, and by then I should have him dead. So, wonder what would happen if I was able to use Geno Whirl on Exor himself, anyway. Nah, eh, must be my imagination. Okay. Anyway, yeah. So just keep on going all out with your physical attacks and jump there. I think that's a good way to go. So far, so good. He's just gonna kind of sit on his ass there. Yeah, you don't need to use uh, Geno Whirl in order to kill this guy. I guess they just screwed up with the coding or something. I don't know. But anyway, uh-oh. How'd you revive that one first? Well, whatever. Maybe the right eye just takes longer to get killed or something, but... Hmm. Apparently, he's in our bed with those eyes. No. No. Just kidding, dearest. Whoa! Where's he taking us? Uh-oh. Is he an ex -or gate? No. No. Just a giant sword that takes us somewhere, I guess. What do you mean you don't like my engineering jokes? Hmm? Oh, I thought he was in the castle the whole time. Well, let's go. Let's take him out. Well, don't you want to kill the guy? Oh. Well, we weren't going to use you anyway, so... I'm not using Bowser ever again. Oh. Nuts. Hmm? What do you mean by that? But didn't we just kill it? Well, sort of, I guess. Oh. Nuts. Yeah, you can't just keep the sword around and have it look intimidating and not have to pay for it. What do you need privacy for? Don't answer that, viewers. Nuts. <laughs> hmm.
Yeah, exact. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it, Bowser. Smack him upside the head with that frying pan. <laughs> okay, sounds like a plan. But before doing that, well, you could go into the dungeon. Yeah, unique final dungeon music, but we're not going to actually go in there yet. Let's get out of here. Got some minor preparations to make. Uh, oh, we can go either way now. Yeah, you can just go up to the gate to Smithy's Domain. But anyway, okay, so we got that. Yeah, a few things you could do at this point in the game. If you haven't defeated Kulix already, I'd recommend doing that. But yeah, you have, you have to do that at uh, Monstro Town there. Oh, yeah, I passed it. Never mind. But anyway, uh, if you haven't gotten at least, I think, five fireworks to get the best ending in the game, this would be a good time to do that as well at Moleville, but I've already done that, so I'm not worried about it. And let's see, one more thing at Tadpole Pond there. We want to make some other preparations here. Finally put my frog coins to use. Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted to spend my frog coins on. Uh, what I want to do is I want to get Power Blasts. So let's buy... Let's see, I'll get... Oh, well, I'll get as many as I can fit in my inventory, I guess. Let's see, how are we doing here so far? Oh, I guess I can't buy anymore. Huh, that's weird. Let me check my inventory there. Why can't I buy more? Oh, it costs five. I thought I had eight coins. I was misreading there. Uh, let's see. Another thing I want to get, I want to get some some uh, pick-me-ups just in case uh, Peach dies, which even at these levels, she can. But can we survive in Smithy's Domain? Find out next time on Let's Play Super Mario RPG. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.